<laughs> Yo, gang, I just saw the video I just posted, right? What I be trying to tell you, bro? What I tell you all the time? A girl can't love you. She love how you make her feel in the moment, or she love you for your fucking money, bro. Real shit. And you got the beta males that be in my comments talking about, oh, who hurt you? There's good girls out there. Listen, a girl could be good and then turn to a demon like that. A girl can't love you, bro. She love how you make her feel in the moment. The gifts, the money. <laughs> Y'all said in one of my videos, right? Girls are like people with ADHD. They react off of impulse, right? They react off of emotions. Whatever they feel in that moment, they gonna fucking do. Andrew Wiggins thought he had two kids and a good wife. Guess what? Them two kids, they was his best friend's kids, bro, this whole time. The wife was fucking the best friend behind closed doors. Probably when he was at away games and shit like that. There's three lessons you can learn from this shit, bro. A girl can't love you, don't trust nobody, and don't get fucking married, bro. And you know what's crazy? I heard they was together since high school. This just further proves my point that a girl could fall out of love with you like this. Money could wear the bitch in, but it won't keep her. The gifts could wear the bitch in, buying her house, buying her nice cars. But if you don't got charisma, you don't know that lovey-dovey shit, you a sucker, or you're not cheating or seeing other bitches in there, the bitch gonna get bored and dip on you, bro. I bet you Andrew Wiggins was fucking faithful as fuck. NBA player, Golden State Warriors, probably top five on the team. Can't have any bitch in the world, but he want to be faithful. That's why I don't trust no bitch, bro. Y'all be out here talking about, oh, my girl will never. Yes, the fuck your girl will. You never put nothing past no bitch, bro. These girls are trifling. I tell niggas all the time, bro, I've been singing for five years, bro. I've seen it all. I don't fuck girls that had niggas. And I'll tell you right now, married women, they cheat the most. You know why? They sealed the bond with you, right? Till death do us apart. And then five years, 10 years into the marriage, they regret it because they missed the streets. Especially the girls that marry mad young at 20 to 25, they miss the fucking streets. The thing is, they'll be cheating on you, right? But she's not going to divorce you right away when she's not happy. You know why? Because she's getting more benefits from the marriage than fucking cons. The only con is she probably fell in love with you. But all the fucking pros, she living in the mansion, probably got diamond rings, diamond earrings, nice necklaces and braces, fashion bags and shit like that. So why the fuck she going to leave your ass? She living a high value life. But she getting a dick on the side. The next thing you can learn, bro, that's why, yo, bro, that's why I don't understand, right? These niggas ain't lied to, bro. Since I was a kid, I always said I would never get married because I've always been a smart young nigga, bro. How does marriage benefit you, bro? Oh, my God, we got a ring. What does a ring signify, bro? Fucking 50% divorce rate in America, 80% filed by women, but y'all niggas still believe in marriage. Again, if you Muslim or Hindu, that's different. I don't fucking apply to this video, bro. Because y'all take marriage more serious and the women are raised better. Now, I'm not saying Muslim and Indian girls are any better. Because trust me, <laughs> I fucked an Indian girl two years ago. Real religious. Good girl. Smart as fuck. But yeah, she fucked on me a black nigga, bro. Crazy, right? <laughs> if our parents knew, they'll kill her, bro. They disown her. But overall, Indians and Muslims and Arabs and shit like that, dumb girls come from better families, bro. They have fathers in their lives, bro. They don't care about money like that, like American women. American women only get married to impress their family and friends, to post pictures on Facebook. They don't do it for fucking love, bro. If they did it for love, the divorce rate wouldn't be so fucking high. Nigga, me, I know I'm gonna be rich. I could be the baddest bitch tomorrow, bro. She could be a good girl, nigga. Wash my dishes, rub my feet, clip my toe nose. She will never get a ring from me, bro. But guess what? If she a good girl, I'll pay her bills. She'll live rent-free with me and all the good shit. But I ain't never bending down to no girl to fucking satisfy her. You know, it's crazy. A lot of American men, they get married just to satisfy the bitch. Because the bitch gave them an ultimatum. Oh, oh, if you don't marry me, I'm going to leave you. Leave, bitch. I don't give a fuck. My grandfather, right? He been with his girl for 20 years. Well, 18 years. Going to 19, right? This year. She tried to push the marriage shit on him a few years ago. He wasn't going. He was not fucking going. And my grandfather's fiance, right? She's a great ass woman, bro. But he wasn't going. Because my grandfather, he the ultimate alpha male, bro. He don't take shit from no bitch. He don't take shit from nobody. He set niggas straight. He real sturdy. He don't laugh a lot. None of that bullshit. He's a man who in his shit. And guess what? She ain't get from ultimatum. She still with him. You know why? Because my grandfather, he's a fucking real man. The next thing you can take from this shit is, right? Never trust no man, bro. I don't care if he's your best friend, bro. I got a, I got a right-hand man. I trust him with some shit, but I don't trust nobody 100%. I don't give a fuck. Now, have you seen this, bro? <laughs> you my dog and shit still, but still. Nigga, I don't trust my brothers 100%. My blood brothers, bro. The closest people to you would do you dirty, my nigga. But I don't understand that, bro. 
That's why when I be seeing niggas saying, oh, I trust this nigga with my life. I'm like, you fucking stupid, bro. You a sucker. You a fool. A friend is worse than an enemy. They know everything about you. I'm not scared of my enemies. I'm scared of my friends. Bro, this was his best friend. Fucking his girl behind his back, bro. Four billion girls on earth. But he wanted his man's girl low key. So that means when they was chilling, he's looking at her. He's fantasizing this shit, bro. If this was my situation, oh, I would've turned into Chris Benoit. Without the kids, I ain't, I ain't hurting the kids. The kids are innocent. I would've turned into Chris Benoit easy. <laughs> no questions asked, bro. You know, it's crazy. A few years back, right? Probably like four or five years ago, I had a best friend. He was like a brother, right? And I had a sneaking link. We was fucking around for like three, three months or so, right? One day I put up on him. I had to get something from him, right? And my girl was on this seat right here, the passenger side, right? And he came to the window, he was on that side. And she looked at him like twice, cause she's right there, we're talking, we're all having a conversation and shit, right? And me, I'm good with human psychology, right? I peep shit out, I peep the way humans react to shit and shit like that, right? So the next day he's like, yo, your girl was looking at me. From that moment on, I knew I couldn't trust that nigga ever again, bro. Cause even if she was, why are you telling me this shit, bro? Cause that means you was looking at her. Cause nigga, I observe situations, bro. When I'm with bitches, I'll bring them around my niggas with money and shit like that. To see how the bitch react. You gotta test these bitches sometimes. And then there was another situation, right? I was fucking with some shorty. I ain't really want her. We was fucking. It was just a sneaky link. He was like, yo, bro, when you done, pass it to me. I'm like, bro, I don't cut these bitches, right? But she my sneaky link. We cool. We be booed up. You know, kissing, going on dates and shit like that. What the fuck you mean pass it to you when I'm done? So that means the bitches I bring around you, you looking at them like that? Guess what? We ain't friends today. We're not fucking friends today, bro. I'm telling you, I peep shit, bro. When you with people, you got to observe them. And that shit hurt, bro. Losing a best friend who was like a brother, bro. That shit hurt more than a breakup. That shit hurt more than a fucking heartbreak, my nigga. If you ever lost a best friend, bro. Not like to like death or not like that, but like just genuine friendship. That shit hurt, bro. And you know what's crazy, bro? For months, I'm like, yo. Yo, for months, I'm like, yo. Should I forget this nigga, bro? But we ain't stopped talking because of that. But eventually, I was going to cut him off because of that. Boo, some other shit I had for months, right? I was contemplating on forgiving him. But I'm the type of nigga, bro, when it comes to bitches and friends, I'm a one and done nigga. You crossed me out of my life forever. I couldn't forgive him, bro. Because that means if I got an attractive wife or something, right? Because I don't need fuck with cute ass bitches. That means when I bring her around, you're going to be looking at her thinking shit. If I die, you're going to try to fuck my baby mama or something like that, bro. That's the ultimate disrespect. But yeah, man, this Andrew Wiggins situation was crazy. That's why I tell niggas, right? Success makes simps bigger fucking simps. If they was simping when they was broke, oh, when they got money, they gonna shower the bitch with bags, gifts, all this bullshit thing, and that's gonna keep the bitch around. They ain't gonna make her panties wet. What make her panties wet is you being on your purpose. You always having your haircuts. You staying in shape. You having a social life with your friends. Shit like that, bro. You having charisma. You being spontaneous with the bitch. Planning random trips. Shit like that, bro. Money don't just do it. Money ain't the end all. Y'all be thinking y'all gonna keep a bitch with money, bro. Like I said, money will will a bitch in, but it won't keep the bitch. Believe that. You know what's crazy, bro? A lot of y'all niggas really got money, but y'all lame as fuck. Lame as fuck. Look at this clip I'm about to post. Look at Jeff Bezos. Look how Jeff Bezos' bitch is drooling over Leonardo DiCaprio, bro. Leonardo only worth 250 million? That's baby money compared to Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos got shit probably a thousand times his money bro i'm telling y'all money can't buy charisma and money can't unlame you yeah man three lessons a bitch can't love you she love how you make her feel in a moment marriage is for beta males or average men if you a millionaire or touching over a hundred thousand a year do not get married for what to make a bitch happy as long as you live to make bitches happy bro you're gonna be a bitch forever and they're gonna always take advantage of you bro and the third lesson is don't trust nobody i don't give a fuck your brother your uncle your father or your right-hand man. You can trust them with certain shit, but not everything. And the last thing is, right? Never be scared of your enemy. Be scared of your friends and your families and the close people to you. They'll do you in. But yeah, that's all for today, man. Shibble Hype saying like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. Like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. Comment video ideas y'all want to talk about. Y'all already know y'all boy Hype saying ain't that famous and Hype Beast. Oh.